everybody and welcome back and let's say I was at the Goodwill store found this pretty much had everything with it uh, and figured for $15 why not I think I says 15 yes $15 and I figured someone out there might be interested so here we go It is called a Eureka Surface Max. And it comes with, I guess I should move a little closer so you guys can see this. I'll bring it out and show it to you as we go. Two of the wands that do connect together nicely and tightly. Plastic, of course, nothing special. And it comes with a hardwood floor brush, which has been used. Needs to be cleaned, but it has two, a rubber wheel on each end. Now it's not top quality, but it's sufficient. Um, what else? We have the hose, which is your typical, well, it's not top of the line, it's a little on the short end, but it's there. And it's in very good condition. And it has the on and off button for the power head and your suction control. But very typical, nothing special. It does not swivel on this end or this end. So no swivel. It comes with, it looks like two unopened bags, two bags inside, pack of, what's it say, genuine Eureka bags, 61990A, CN-2, genuine Eureka, so that's good and a power head, medium stiffness and bristles, no dirt on it at all. I don't even know if this thing has been used, but your typical plastic wheels, well, these are rubber up front, these are plastic. And of course it has your quick disconnect and recline. Looks like it has a headlight, but as you can see, it says Surface Max written on it, Eureka. And the bottom is gray, the top is burgundy red. Nothing special, but... And then we have the main unit. Here we go. It is red and gray, and it is called Eureka Surface Max. And let's see, what does the number say on it? Model number 6833 Type D, 120 amps, 12, wait a minute, 120 volts, 12 amp. Da -da 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 Uses paper bag style CN2. Basically at Eureka, Bloomingdale, Illinois, made in China. Well, here we are. You have the wheels in the back, which are, well, some type of rubber coating. The single swivel wheel here, your parking bracket, your handle. On this side, you got your tool cabinet, which you have your dusting brush, and your mini, mini, mini crevice tool. However, that goes back in. <laughs> it does not go like that. Let's, how did that happen? Let's see. Da, da, da. I think this goes there. I think this goes underneath. There we go. Ooh. So, accessories in there. Your inlet for your hose, your uh, your button to open up for bag, 
you have your um, power control here from minimum to max. You have your on off button and your cord rewind, a parking brake. The cord rewind was not working. So something I might have to look at. So let's open it up, I guess, see what's in this thing. So it does have a bag in it. A little baby bag. And a pre-motor filter. We can get it out. It's not that bad, a little dirty, but not bad. It's really not that bad inside. I was really expecting it to, um, to be pretty nasty. Not many people take care of their vacuums, but you can see in there, it's not bad at all. Let's see if I can remember how this thing went back in there. I think it went this way. Guess it did. Cool. I think so. It says top. Okay. Let's plug her in and see what we got. Your typical cable. Doesn't seem that long, but decent. say is not bad this red is like uh, metallic it has like red and gold speckles through it let's hook up the hose I can only go in one way and it does not swivel full indicator is working. Let's see if the power head works. Well, there we go. Whoops. say it does groom the carpet very nicely I really didn't think this thing was going to work but uh, give me a second and I'll be right back and I will get maybe some rice or something to throw down okay we have a mix of lentils and rice here Let's see what this thing can do. This baby Eureka Surface Max.
I'd say not bad. Not bad at all. It looks like it snow plowed a little bit right here in front of the uh, camera, but that's okay. I mean, for what it did for such of a little unit, not bad at all. Now you don't have uh, an adjustment on this power head for height, but it seems to be doing fine, so let's finish. Okay, there you go. I'm going to say not bad at all for this little thing. It groomed the carpet very well. It had no problem picking up all that mess. And it groomed the carpet very well. Now, again, it does not have swivel. But it does stand on its own. And it does not have carpet adjustment. 
but it did very well. So for a little vacuum, I guess this might be a budget vacuum, I guess. Now, I don't know what's going on. in a little bit for the cord rewind. I guess I have to crack that baby open and uh, see what's going on. But everything works on this poor thing. And $15, you know? Uh-oh, who's calling now? Back in a second. Okay, sorry for that interruption, but uh, sometimes <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. But here we go on the Eureka Surface Max. Not a bad machine, everything comes with it. Um, you know, I wonder, does that fit that? I guess it does, doesn't it? Yes, it does, okay, cool. So I just got this basically for, your, for you guys that are really in love with these kind of vacuum cleaners. Um, this is going to be kind of weird, but when I look at this vacuum, it kind of reminds me of a, a Mila. Now, granted, this is definitely not the quality or anything like a Mila vacuum. Uh, but just the shape and the way it looks, um, this to kind of reminded me of that. But it works perfectly except the cord rewind. That's sad. Maybe I'll try to um, open it up and see if I can fix that. But I am quite impressed on how well it did. It's not allowed. It's a very pleasant sounding vacuum. And it did very well. But anyway, thanks for coming along. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.